Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB the Show 18. So we got the new monthly awards players for September, and it looks like the main reward is Christian Yelich, which is a pretty big card. Normally, I don't think people like having a player that's already a diamond be the monthly award, but Yelich just hit diamond, and I mean he's definitely worthy of a monthly reward. And this one I feel like is much better than the other ones, like especially like Verlander, who wasn't that great, and then Goldschmidt who his stats don't really change that much, but this yellow card looks pretty good. So we have Nathan Iovaldi as one of the players, and he's who you get at 20%. Here are the stats for this card. 83 stamina, 81 hit per nine, 86 K per nine, and a 66 walk per nine. So good hit per nine and K per nine numbers. Has a 98 fastball, a 93 cutter, an 88 splitter, an 87 slider, and a 79 curveball. These are actually pretty good pitches. So for a diamond play, I feel like this is a solid card. Then we have, we'll just go right at, at it right now and show you guys the Krista Jelic card. So this one has 99 contact versus righties, 86 versus lefties, 83 power versus righties, and 87 versus lefties, and 70 vision. So these are pretty good hitting stats overall. Nothing like crazy over 100, but, you know, well-rounded, definitely well-rounded. Fielding stats aren't bad, 90 fielding, 71 arm strength, actually that's not the best. But 70 arm accuracy, 79 reaction, and 78 speed. So overall a good fielder, but the hitting stats are definitely a nice improvement. The only thing is now that because he got a player of the month card, and like the main player of the month card, I don't think he gets a finest card. I honestly don't think they're going to give him a finest card. So, you know, that's good. Maybe that's bad. I don't know if the finest card would be better than this card. But if they don't do it, that also gives us a chance at another player that also deserves it that might not have gotten it. So, you know, this is still a nice card. But I think, you know, this is the highest card we'll see for Yelich. Unless he gets like an MVP card for... I don't, I don't know if they're going to do like MVP cards or like a postseason MVP. You know, whatever they do... This is probably the highest card unless something like that happens. Either way, it's still a very nice card. Let's try to take a look at the rest of the cards in this set. So in the ticket counter, we have Raul Mondesi, 85 overall diamond. It has 63 contact versus righties, 87 versus lefties, 74 power versus righties, and 69 versus lefties with 45 vision. So hitting stats are okay, and his fielding stats are okay. He does have uh, His fielding stats are pretty good for an infielder, but he does have some nice speed, so... I feel like the speed being so high is what boosts him up to a diamond because his hitting stats are only a silver and his fielding stats are only gold. So, you know, something definitely gave him a nice boost. Plus, he's a shortstop, which I think normally is higher rated. I know second base is the most highest, but shortstop, I think, is up there also. And then let's take a look at the shop and see what the other players are in this set. So we got Trevor Story. This is a nice card right here. So this is the best card that you can actually pull from packs. 89 diamond at 68 contact versus righties. 102 versus lefties. 87 power versus righties. And 108 versus lefties. And 48 vision. So very good against lefties. Has high power numbers. Fielding stats are not bad. And then he has 92 speed. So this is a very nice card at shortstop Trevor Story. Once again, because he has a player of the month, I don't know if he gets a finest card. I don't know what they're going to do with the finest cards, to be honest. But I feel like players that already have diamonds have less chance of getting one of those finest cards or just like a really high. I mean, they obviously can get a much higher diamond. So next we have Walker Bueller. And this is an 88 overall diamond, 90 stamina, 88 hit per nine, 88 K per nine, and a 67 walk per nine. Has a 96 fastball, 96 two seam, 80 curveball, 93 cutter, and an 85 slider. So he does have some pretty good pitches. Hit per nine and K per nine numbers are really good. And that walk per nine number is not bad. So this is a very nice card. And he did have, what did he have last year? He had a future stars last year, which was also a diamond. So I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to that card, even though pitching is not the same this year. Still not a bad card. This is definitely worthy of a diamond. Next, let's see who do we have. That is from September. Let's see. No one on that first page. We have Luke Voigt. I actually am looking forward to this card. 73 contact versus righties, 84 versus lefties, 81 power versus righties, and 94 versus lefties, and 42 vision. So he has pretty good power numbers. Actually, his hitting stats overall are great. 
You know, this is definitely a very nice goal card. 70 fielding, 50 arm strength, 65 arm accuracy, and 60 reaction. You know, fielding stats aren't the best, but at first base, he's definitely serviceable. And the corner outfielders, he's not really going to be that bad, even though his arm strength is kind of weak. But it's a nice hitting card. I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this card. And he's 6K. We're definitely going to pick that one up. Next, we have Steven Piscotti, 88 contact versus ready, 65 versus lefties, 80 power versus righties, and 73 versus lefties, and 63 vision. So, pretty good hitting stats against righties. He's not bad versus lefties. You know, 73 power is pretty good. And then his fielding stats are okay, 48 speed, can play outfield and first base. So, he's definitely an okay card. I'm not I don't really care for this card, to be honest. Next, we have... Ronaldo Lopez, so he has 90 stamina, 79 hit per nine, 76 K per nine, and a 61 walk per nine. So hit per nine and K per nine numbers, not bad for a goal player. Has a 96 fastball, 83 changeup, 83 slider, and a 75 curveball. So pretty good pitches. Maybe if he had another pitch, I don't know, maybe a two seam or a sinker, something like that, it would have been a much better card. Or even, now nah, he, he has off speed. So yeah, it's, it's not a bad card. Those are definitely good, solid four pitches that he has. Is that it? I don't know if there's another player. Yeah, so that's it. Those are the player of the month cards for September. I think overall, it's a pretty good set. And we also have, you know, the main one being Christian Yelich, which is definitely a nice, nice card. But we got some packs to open. So we did buy one of them. And we have a 10-pack bundle that we're going to open. Set 15. See if we can get anything good out of this set. I did open some set 15 packs earlier. Or, yeah, earlier in the week on Tuesday, I think, and we didn't get anything good. So, second chance at them. See if we can get anything good. Maybe a postseason equipment item, which could definitely be nice. But we get Russell Martin, our first silver player. And, yeah, we're just hoping for something good. But overall, I feel like, you know, these player of the month cards this month were pretty good. You know, Yelich, like I've been saying, is definitely a nice card. And the rest of them aren't bad. I like Voight. I like um, that Walker Bueller card. That one looks pretty solid. And who was the other diamond? Story. Story is definitely a nice diamond. So, yeah, the diamonds are pretty good. Mondesi don't really care about that one. But overall, they're pretty solid. And then we have the Eovaldi that you get also. So, this is definitely a nice set of diamonds. I'm not getting that Yelich card, even though he's going for, like, it seems like he was going for, like, 200k. You know, it's, it's probably worth it, but I don't, I'm not spending all my stubs on that unless we get, like, Trevor Story in this pack. But right now, these set 15 packs... Not really that good. <laughs> They've been terrible for us, like, all the packs this year. And it doesn't look like we're going to get anything good out of this set. But last one, you know, we'll see what happens. And we didn't get no postseason equipment items and no gold players, no diamonds, nothing like that. So September monthly awards pack. We're just going to open up one because I don't really want to risk it, to be honest. So we'll see if we can end up pulling a diamond. Oh, we got it. Oh, is that story? My God. I love it. Let's go. Trevor Story. Yo, we just got the biggest hit in the monthly awards. I, now, I don't know. Now do, we, now do I go after Yelich? I don't know. I mean, we got the biggest hit. And that's that's a pretty big pull. <laughs> that's a pretty big pull right there. I mean, Trevor Story is definitely pretty expensive. And I don't know. Do I want that Yelich card? Because I definitely can afford the rest of these sets now. Because Bueller's 50k. I don't know. That 148. That 148 is pretty nice. That 148 is pretty nice. I'm going to have to think about this one. I'm going to have to th think about this one. See what else we can do. Because I do have to finish up some other collections also. So, like, that 148 is pretty big. But that's, that's a big pool. That's a big pool. That's definitely our best pool all year. I mean, I haven't pulled a player more than like 40k, I don't think. So 148 right there. Definitely take that one. But other than that, let me just really quick go over the roster update because there is some upgrades. Nothing crazy. Mookie Betts got plus one. DeGrom got plus two. Definitely worthy of it. Kershaw goes negative two. Yellick gets another plus one. And actually, this Yellick card has better contact than the player of the month card, right? Just not the power numbers. So, I don't know. I don't know. But this card is still solid. Chris Bryant, negative one. Rendon, only player to go up to diamond. He got a nice plus two. Definitely worthy. He had a great season. Carrasco goes up one. Bauer up one. 
Hosey down to a gold player. So I think there's no diamonds anymore for the Giants. Blake Snell did not get diamond. He's definitely getting a finest card. If he doesn't get a diamond finest card, I don't I don't know. I don't know. He definitely deserves that. And then no other upgrades that are really big. Kniebel goes up to a gold. Bueller gold. Marquez gold. Like those ones are all right. And then it doesn't seem like any other player went up to gold. Don't really care about players going up to silver. And that is that. So, yeah. I mean, we, we pulled the diamond. So, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy. Um... Yeah, let me, let me know what you guys got in your packs. If you guys opened up any packs, set 15 packs, monthly awards packs. I mean, I probably... Should I open up another pack? <sighs> man, what if we pull two stories? I don't, I don't want to do it, but... Man, that, that's... Yo, F it, we're doing it. <laughs> we're going to do it just to do it. But I know we're not going to get, like, another good player out of this. Imagine if we get another diamond. Yeah, we got the gold. Give me Luke Voigt. <laughs> Yo, I'm fine with that. We, we got probably the two players we wanted. Even though we could have picked them up for cheaper. I'm fine with that. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. You know, overall, not bad. We got Trevor Story, biggest diamond in the set. Minus Jelic, of course. And he is the main player for the September monthly awards. Which, you know, definitely looks pretty nice. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to go after that or not. But let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys are going to go after that. And if you guys opened up any packs, let me know what you guys got out of those. So, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.